Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're here for the first time, you have just come on a crazy night because I'm about to have surgery tomorrow. So hold on, let me fix this cord. Uh, welcome to Travel Snacks and welcome to the live stream. I'm Allison Sharp and Travel Snacks is all about traveling, eating good food, and maybe living a lifestyle that's outside of the norm. And we're welcoming to anyone and everyone. So let me put my glasses on and see who's here. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is as far back as it scrolled, so I don't know if this is the actual first message, but uh, Rose, not sure if I get to stay or not, but I'm praying for perfect peace, God's anointing on, a on the surgical team, grace for your recovery and you and your family and perfect swift healing. What a great way to start the live stream. Thank you, Rose. What's happening here? Um, and thank you, Charles. Uh, in Jesus' holy name, may our most holy Father of all everything, everlasting Almighty be with you. Amen. I love it. I'm here for this. Uh, Catherine B., prayers and positive affirmations going up and out for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love all your emojis. Hey, Rebecca, how are you? Hey, have not caught anything live or currently lately on a big trip to the Grand Canyon. Oh, that's amazing. You're going to have an excellent time there. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, Michelle, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, for the $5, but second of all, that's the cutest little emoji. Is that like a lemon head? High-fiving a little birdie. How cute is that? Thank you so much for the donation right off the bat. Let's give a shout out right now. Um, let's, let's start it off with a victory. Hold on. Let me turn this up. Thank you very much, Michelle. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. All right. And Grant is in the house. Grant is our moderator and he keeps everything in order. If there's any questions I'm not able to answer, he can probably answer it. And if anybody gets out of hand, he's there to slam the hammer down or turn the wrench to kick somebody out. So thank you, Grant, for being here. Uh, Grant sent me an email a little bit earlier with some fun would you rather questions. So we're going to do that a little bit later on the live stream. So thank you for that because I told him I have not had one second to think of any games. So I think that'd be really fun. Um, hey, Johnny B. Michelle says, last live someone was spamming. It made me wonder what the heck shortlisted meant. I figured it out. <laughs> Johnny B., I always enjoy watching this channel. I've learned a lot with living as a nomad. I call it camping without, without s'mores. Oh, how cute is that? <clears throat> hey, Mike Brady, how are you? You finally have some time to chat. I love it. I'm glad to see you here. Hey, Jimmy, praying for a successful surgery and speedy recovery. Can't wait to see your smiling and beautiful face. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hey, Ragdoll Libby. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mike says, it's good to see you all. Uh, God watch over and heal and comfort Allison in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mike, for sure. I love it. Um, yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I had surgery once. My pastor came to visit me. Where's Johnny B? He's out back smoking with the doctor. <laughs> I had some explaining to do. Yes, indeed. Hey, Crystal, how are you? How are you? Good to see you here. Uh, Ragdoll Libby, I had a hysterectomy January last year because I had cancer. Oh, no. I was surprising. It was surprisingly an easy surgery and recovery. I didn't have cancer cells on my lymphs, so I didn't need any other treatment. Thank you, God. Yes, absolutely. And Mike's giving ice cream for all. Love it. Hey, D. Renee, how are you? Oh, you see sugar crystal candy corn? I brought sugar crystal candy corn into my uh, room that I'm recovering in. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but so uh, for those of you that have been longtime snack packers, you know that whenever I'm at my parents' house, I'm in this, you know, room. And usually this headboard is a one that my dad made out of wood. And there's like some Native American uh, metal work stuff on there. And I was like, you know, what? I want to mix it up. So I bought this, uh, backdrop off of the Amazons and it was like, I don't know, less than 20 bucks. And I'm like, that is going to be very festive for when I'm going to be doing live streams as I'm recovering. So my mom and I put it up yesterday and I brought a bunch of stuff in from my van so I can make it feel homey. And of course, sugar crystal candy corn had to come in. Uh, so yeah, so my van is actually parked uh, 
in the back of my parents' house. And it's reminiscent of times when my dad and I were building the van. So it's parked there. Like I said, I unplugged the fridge and a lot of you had some uh, good ideas. Um, and one of them was to open the fridge doors so that no mold will accumulate. So I did that this afternoon. So thank you for those that gave that tip. Hey, HGJ, peace, live long and prosper. I love it. Hey, say la la, uh, praying for speedy recovery. Thank you so much. <laughs> Michelle, yes. I'm trying to make the vacation vibes real over here because, you know, it's not going to be a fun time tomorrow, uh, but I want to make it as peaceful as possible. Uh, hey, John Smith, how are you? Johnny B, good day to you. I hope everything goes smoothly for you. Uh, prayers are with you, my friend. Thank you very much. Hey, DK. Yes, I know. I'm very much looking forward to getting this over with. Hey, Luke from Canada. Hope all is well. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Hey, Alma. Uh, or Alma. Alma or Alma. Um, yes, Grant is a great mod. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no wedding proposals this week. No, I didn't get any wedding proposals this week. Um, except for the one we talked about on the last live stream, but no more. And if I did, I don't know, because I haven't been able to keep up on my, on my emails and DMs and stuff. Uh, yeah, let's keep sugar crystal candy corn peeking in. Hey, Callie, how are you? I already prayed for you, and I am in agreement with everyone else's prayers. Lots of love. You're going to be just fine. Thank you very much. I'll take all the prayers I can get, and I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you, Marge G. Uh... Thank you, thank you. They removed my hysteria about ten years ago. It was part. It was it was past time. Awesome, awesome. Um, <clears throat> cool styles. Please let us know you're okay as soon as you can. Yes, um, I definitely will. As soon as I possibly can, I'll let you guys know. Um, so okay, so um, I just found out today the surgery time. So they don't tell you the surgery time until the day before. So they just called this morning. So my surgery time is at ten a.m. So the, the hospital that I'm having the surgery at is like an hour and 20 minutes away from my parents' house. So we'll probably leave a little bit early just to make sure we get parking and, you know, check in and all that stuff. So it's at 10 a.m. So uh, from midnight on, I can't have any food, but they do want me to drink some apple juice or 7-Up two hours before the procedure. So they said around 7.45, I should drink six to eight ounces because they want me to have some carbs or sugar so that because I'm not going to be eating, uh, they want me to have something in my system. <clears throat> so 10 a.m. is not that bad. Thank you, Matt Z. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. So basically, um, let's see, Michelle, I shared my surgery story on your last video. I'm loving the unicorn praying professor. Thank you. Thank you. There was so many so many comments of women that have had hysterectomies on one of my, um, on the video that I talked about the hysterectomy and then this current video that I just posted today. Um, and it's very reassuring to me because I didn't even know there was so many women that were like, Oh, I had my hysterectomy. Everything was fine. I feel hundred percent better. I'd say 98% of the comments said that they felt better after the hysterectomy. So I'm super encouraged by that. And also a lot of people said that the recovery was way shorter. So I have no idea what to expect because some people were like, oh, I was up and out in like a week. And some people were like, no, nah, I needed the full six weeks. So I don't really know what to expect. Um, I've been drinking a lot of water, but <clears throat> I want to be super hydrated and I don't want to have any problem after the surgery. Um, so I have no idea what to expect. You know what? Maybe I'll be one of those people that'll be like totally fine after a week and just be tired, you know? Um, but I do plan to stay at my parents' house for at least a few weeks, maybe at least for sure two weeks, maybe three weeks if I'm totally fine, because there's some things I need to do over here anyways with my parents. Um, but I just don't know, you know, you don't know until you know. So I'm going to take it day by day and let my body tell me what's up because I don't want to push myself. Uh, the last few days have been just completely nuts. Just, I have so have had so much to do the video that I posted today. That was most of the stuff, but there's still stuff that I'm trying to get done today. Um, I've already edited two full videos today. I'm working on my third one 
uh, because I'm releasing my new channel. For those that don't know, I'm starting a second channel um, on Saturday. So all the videos will go up on Saturday. Uh, so I'm excited about that. But I'm getting them edited now because I don't want to have to do anything after I come back from getting the surgery. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, hey, Grammy's Journal, how are you? Hey, Tammy, schoolie's in the house. I, how long will you be in the hospital? It's just one day. Uh, I don't know the length of time because when you get there, they take a while to like prep you, give you the IV, give you something to make you feel a little bit relaxed. Then you're, um, then my team of surgeon, anesthesiologists, nurses, and all these things, they come in, they talk with me for a while, and then they put me out. And the surgery can be anywhere from two to six hours, depending on whatever my body does. Uh, and then the recovery is between one to three hours. So it's going to be a long day in the hospital. But they said, like, I think they said 85 or 90 percent of the people go home that day. They don't usually try to keep people overnight unless there's a complication. So they anticipate me going home the same day. So uh, it's just for one day. Hey, Denise, thank you so much. Yes, good hydration, because you guys, a lot of you know that when I had, when I was sick, uh, I was so super dehydrated. So I'm really trying to take care of my body. Hey, Evelyn, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I love all the prayers and encouragement. It really means a lot to me. Um, Ragdollaby, I felt great about five days afterwards. I followed my doctor's orders to the T. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, I've definitely been following all the stuff, like all the, uh, videos they sent me, all the paperwork I've been like following it exact. So I'm really trying to, to do the right thing because they know what they're talking about. They do these all the time. Hey, Allie's alley. Thank you so much. Llama corn. Yes. I call it an alpaca corn because I personally like alpacas better, but yes, it is a llama corn according to, uh, Amazon where it came from. Um, Rose says, I was in for two days. I was cut all, let's see, cut all NG, my C-section scars through, though. Oh my gosh. All along. Oh, oh my gosh. Two days. Yeah. I think if you have, so mine is a laparoscopic hysterectomy. So this is kind of like, uh, but they put an incision in my belly button and two on like kind of next to my belly button. And then I guess she sticks the, like the camera in my belly button and then the tools, she just like, you know, Edward Scissorhands it in my abdomen area and does all the cutting, you know, in there. Um, so that's the way they do it. But some women have to have a um, abdominal hysterectomy, I think it's called, where they do have to cut you, you know, on your pelvic area. So I think those are definitely harder to recover from. Hey, Ron, thank you. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Welcome. Um, I wasn't in any pain, just a bit sore. It will be a breeze. Okay. Awesome. I love to hear it. DK. It's like a really bad date. <laughs> oh man. I hope so. Cause then it would be like done and over with. Hey, win, win. How are you? Good to see you. Well, that was fast. I'm happy they got you in prayers. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm super glad uh, I'm get to go in tomorrow. And it's not like, like Grant said, it's not like a 6am surgery. Cause that would be real bad because like I said, it's over an hour drive. So that would be a long, long, early day. Um, hey, Christine, much love to you from Ontario, Canada. Take care of yourself. Don't overdo. Take time. To yes. Thank you so much. I had robotic surgery and it was just overnight. Oh, awesome. Hey, e Phoenix, How are you? Hey, everyone. I'm sending up prayers for you and a speedy recovery. Thank you very much. As a, I couldn't poop for eight days, so use the stool softener for real. No joke. Listen, I'm, I am on you on that. Like, I'm, I'm with you on that. I already have my stool softener already ready next to my bed, uh, and I'm gonna take it like as soon as I get home. Plus, I have prunes as well. Uh, I'm not gonna mess around with that because it will definitely get you if you are constipated. Um, Bike says, good, 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 good hydrations. Oh, oh, I get it. The Beach Boys are behind you also. Thank you. I need all the support I can get. Johnny says, I have a picture on my wall with penguins in the background and two wolves standing in front with mountains in the background. Bottom of it has the never ending story song written. Oh, I love that. Uh, Michelle, oh, some info about number two after I had a lot of issues and half a glass of beet juice is a natural way. Oh, I never had beet juice. That's 
Good to know. When, when I had a vaginal. Okay. Yeah. That's another way to do it as well. Um, there's so many different ways um, to get these surgeries. And I think it just depends on your body. It's pretty amazing. Hey, Turtle Graham. Thank you for being here. Yes, I'm having surgery tomorrow. I'm having a hysterectomy. Uh, hey, Shane. Uh, okay, so I come in and get poop softener. What did I just come into? <laughs> yeah, you, you should just be prepared whenever you come on Travel Snacks because we talk about all kinds of stuff. Uh, Mill Flowers, I had my cervix and uterus taken out February 2020. It, I took a month break. Best decision any woman can take. Just take those pain meds and plenty of rest. Don't lift heavy things. You've got this. Awesome. Thank you. I love to hear people's stories because it's really encouraging to me. Um, and then I kind of know what to expect a little bit. Thanks, Shane. Uh, Turtle Graham, had my middle sliced and diced three times. Good luck and do not let anyone make you laugh after surgery. Oh, no. Yeah, I will try not to laugh uh, heavily. Um, Johnny said, oh, I'm at Pegasus. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, so like I said on the video, I did get um, Peacock Premium um, and I have a few shows lined up so that for the next couple of weeks, I could just lay in this bed and just watch a bunch of series. Um, and then, you know, take a look like some short walks because I think it's really good to, to walk as soon as possible. That's what they've been telling me. So I'm going to do everything I can to like get up and walk around, but not lift anything or not try to stretch anything because I don't want my, my incisions or my stitches to rip. That would be terrible. <clears throat> Rose says, I think they opened me because of scars and big cysts. But the third day I was home, I was cooking breakfast. Oh my gosh, my husband woke up and said he knew I wouldn't starve when he went back to work. Well, that's awesome that you were up and going. That's really good to know. Yes, lots of fiber and water. Yes. Hey, Alma from the Philippines. Awesome. Uh, when, when, oh yeah, no laughing and bring a pillow. Okay. Um, so my mom today set up the back seat of their car for the ride home because it is, like I said, over an hour. Uh, so she put two pillows down and they have the exact same car I used to have. So for those that have been around long enough, you guys have seen my car because I used to live in the car. They have the exact same cars I used to have. So they put the pillows down, a sheet and she brought a blanket and uh, <clears throat> a pillow for my head so I can lay down or I can sit up, whatever, you know, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, but I do have a pillow in there. Uh, lost on land again. Hey girl, I just stopped in to wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Rooting for you. So glad you have your folks. To yes. Yes. Thank you for stopping in. And yes, I feel so blessed to have my parents helping me and a place to stay because recovering, recovering in a van would be very difficult. Uh, I think it could be done, but the harder part is because of the temperature, because of the weather recently, uh, it's been so hot and just in a healthy mode, I feel super just like, uh, kind of just like too heated or something where my body just has a headache and I'm just achy or not achy, but just like feeling run down, you know, because it's so hot. Um, I don't love it at all. So being in the van and not being able to control the temperature, I think that would be really terrible. So I'm really, really grateful for my parents, uh, and you know, their help. Also, um, I did get my Walmart, uh, pickup order, um, last night. Uh, so I have all the groceries that I need and tonight I'm going to be making some potato and vegetable soup. So I'll have that ready so I can have salads and soups. HGJ. Oh, you can laugh. Oh, you can't laugh. I had I had a link to upload moonlighting episodes. I was going to send you, you can send it. You know, what's funny about me is I'm not a huge laugher when I, when I watch TV or movies, even though like people will be around me and just like cracking up, I'm internally laughing. I'm not the kind of person that like, just ah, like, I, I don't know. It has to be like, I don't even know the most funny. And then you might get like a chuckle out of me. So you can, you know, if anybody wants to send stuff, it's fine. Hey, Ray, Ray, how are you? I'm getting a hysterectomy tomorrow. A rose says, laughing and coughing, you need a pillow over your stomach. Oh, dang, yes. Okay, that's good to know. I do have many pillows over here. 
up. I have my long big pillow and I have a bunch of little pillows. So I do have a billion pillows. Okay, so that's really good to know. Michelle says, my surgery was a spinal fusion. Oh no, only used one pain med then went to Thailand because of constipation and did the same as a pain pill, not much. Oh dang, I have like some like narcotic pain pills, but they, but my surgeon said, and they gave me also Motrin and Tylenol. They said, excuse me. They said, take the like Tylenol, then like whatever. I got to look at the bottle. Like six hours later, take a Motrin, Tylenol, Motrin. And if you need the narcotic pain pill, then take it. Don't, they said, don't try to tough it out, take it, but try to stick with Tylenol and Motrin and like interchange them. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, but I do have a stronger pain medication in case I need it. Um, uh, Rose says I had the flu in the truck one time. It was rough. Oh, that's gotta be tough. Johnny says I have spina bifida. I've been living in my car for two years. Hard sometimes, but I learned to never give up. That's right. Watching your videos taught me so much. I have a feeling that you will come through this. Thank you so much. And I agree with that. Never give up. And you can do hard things. Like even if I did have to recover my van, I would make it work. Um, or I would, you know, take a little bit of my savings and maybe get a hotel for the first two nights or whatever. So it definitely can be done. I just feel grateful that I can be at my parents' house. Um, Cause I think that'd be much easier. When, when good, 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 bring one for the stomach. Uh, I'm happy your parents, that will be nice. Yes, thank you. Ray Ray said, I had my appendix taken out and then walked out of the hospital. Oh, dang, that's crazy. Uh, Shane says, Let's hope they get it all out and don't add bits down there when you wake up. I know my sister is so funny. She's like, she's like, oh, she, cause she called yesterday and she's like, um, you're getting close to your surgery. And I said, yeah, she goes, yeah, I'm one step closer to having a brother. <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> she's like, well, you're getting all your lady parts out. So, you know, you're, you're going to be a boy. And I said, no, no, I'm still going to be a woman. So everyone's got jokes. And I'm okay with it. I think it's funny. And yes, I don't want them to add anything. Just just take things out. Don't add. MA, I hope you can post a couple of short videos after surgery to update us on how you're feeling. Wishing you good. Thank you so much. So my plan is to post an update once a week, just a short one, like two or three minutes, uh, just to like, you know, post it. it. Even if I just post it on the community tab, I'll try to post something once a week. And, you know, if... I'm feeling up to it and like back regular, you know, then I'll be happy to make videos. But I have a feeling that at least for the first couple of weeks, I'm just going to want to sleep and relax. But yes, I will do my best to keep everybody updated. Um, I probably won't post anything tomorrow. If I do, it might be a picture of me at the hospital being like, I'm going in if I have my phone with me. But um, after the surgery, I'm probably gonna be super tired. So I probably won't post anything then, but I'll try my best to post something maybe on Friday, just to like, just a quick little update. I think that should be fine. Um, so yeah, uh, very says the vaccine got my appendix very common. Oh, dang. I did not know that. Uh, T Stella Paramount plus is free with Walmart plus now. Oh, I did not know. That's cool. That's a good tip. Turtle gram. You may do belly laughs with pain meds on board. I mean, yeah, that's true. Um, Jacques says, I'm praying for you when the nurses get you up, do it. And they will give you a thing to blow in, do it daily. It will help your breathing. I have a neck fan works well. Interesting. Okay. That is very interesting. Uh, Lost on land again. The last movie I remember belling laughing out loud at was the jerk. was. That's what, don't, just don't watch that. That is one of, so that's actually funny that you bring that up. That is one of like our family, like my mom and dad, my sister, that's one of our family movies. Do you guys have family movies? You know what I mean? Like when you're growing up, there's certain movies that you as a family have watched and you've bonded over it and you like have little jokes about it. That's like one of our family movies that we just love so much. And that movie is hilarious. I love it. It's so funny. It's such an old movie, but the comedy is awesome. So yeah, I won't watch that during my recovery. Uh, Lost on land again. I disagree. Stay ahead of the pain at first and then go from there. Y you know what? Uh, I don't even know what to expect, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm not going to be shy about taking the like narcotic. 
I don't know why I'm doing air quotes. It is a narcotic. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be shy about taking it. Uh, if I feel pain, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do it. Um, I'm not the kind of person that gets addicted to things. In fact, I don't, I rarely take things. I don't like to take anything. Um, but I'm not shy about taking pain pills if I need to. Um, Ray Ray, my appendix burst. Oh no. Doc said 12 more hours and I would have been a dead Ray Ray. Oh no. I'm so glad you got in there. Oh, Grant, thank you so much. Uh, yes. If you'd like to donate to the snack fund, what is the hair on my lip? I can't figure out where it's coming from. Yes. If you'd like to donate to the snack fund, feel free. There's all the links that Grant posted. Uh, it's never required or obligated. Uh, but if you feel like supporting the channel, I appreciate it very much. So thank you for posting those links. Um, DK. Yep. Lost. Stay ahead of the pain. All right. All right. I'm getting two for stay ahead of the pain. Uh, I might just jump in with the pain medication. Maybe on the first day, I'll just jump in with it. You know what I mean? Just so I can just, and also I'm, I'm weak when it comes to pain medication. Like I can take a half of something and I'm knocked out. Um, it affects me really strongly. So even if I take a little bit of the narcotic, I'm going to be knocked out. So maybe the first day, like getting home, it would be nice to just take something and just go to sleep. Um, I won't, so I won't be able to eat from midnight tonight until, uh, after the surgery. So I told my parents that on the way home, maybe we can run through a drive through The only thing is I don't eat meat. So there's not a lot of choices and I don't want to eat beans because I'm already going to be filled up with like the, like gases. They fill you up with gas to do the surgery. So I'm going to be bloated. It's going to be probably pretty gross. Um, so I don't want to eat beans. So I don't really know. I said, maybe we could get like a grilled cheese somewhere or like, I don't really know. I, I don't really know. I haven't really thought that through very much. Um, or even just French fries. That would be fine too. Um, so worst case scenario, uh, I could wait till we get back here, which is just like an hour and, you know, I'll have soup already made, um, or a salad or something like that. But anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, my throat is kind of like hoarse or dry because I've been filming a lot. <laughs> I've been in my van filming so many videos this week. Uh, so that's why I've also I've been trying to, uh, drink a lot of water so that, you know, my throat isn't like so hoarse. Um, so anyways, uh, I don't know why I was bringing that up about eating. Oh, so what I'm saying is like, I'll already eat on the drive home or right when I get here and then take some pain pills and then psh, I'll be out for the night. So I think that'll be a good plan. Um, Rose says, I'm glad you're at your parents. My husband was great taking care of me. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, Patricia, how are you? Just take it easy, Allison, and you'll be fine. Rest up at your parents and you will be amazed how much better you will be. I will be praying for you. Yes. Updates. But yes, thank you so much. I'll take all the prayers. Yes, please. Um, Rose, do you think your mom of someone could let us know when you're out or, and okay, listen, I'm going to be, keep it real. Uh, I even today had to set up a, um, group text on my dad's phone today for my immediate family, like my two boys and my sister. Um, so they're not really like technologically able to like post anything on my channel. Um, but I'm pretty sure like, I'm not going to be like in a coma. So I think I'll be able to post something like even on the drive home, like even just like on the community tab, I could be like, maybe I could post something like, I mean, it's an hour drive. Surely I could probably send something on the community tab saying I'm out of surgery. I'm doing fine or something. So, but if you don't hear from me, it's still okay. Don't, don't think that anything bad happened. Um, but I will try to post as soon as possible just to let everybody know that everything's fine. Um, Camping Katie. Hey, how are you? Uh, God bless you. And I pray all goes well. Thank you so much. I appreciate that very much. Hey, she's, he's shooting at these cans. <laughs> That's so funny. I love that movie. Watch out for the green jello. What's wrong with the green jello? Uh, more Dan, Jerry Lewis, Don Knotts are our family was. Oh, awesome. 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 Don Knotts has some great movies and Jerry Lewis. 
Hey, Braveheart, uh, best wishes for your surgery and recovery. Thank you so much. No family movies. Uh, Johnny says, this is the first live chat I've been on where I see everyone being very respectful, caring, and being concerned. You definitely have people that truly care. This is a yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Snack Pack community is the best. Everyone here is so loving, not only to me, but to each other. And I just feel so grateful and blessed. I feel the love. I feel all the support. Like even before I came on this live stream, there's so many messages and I feel so supported and so like lifted up for the surgery. I just have like, I'm not really nervous. I haven't, I've been so busy. I haven't had time to be nervous, but I really just feel so just, I don't know what else to say. So supported and so loved through this whole thing. It, when I first talked about it uh, until today, I just feel very happy that I have so many great people just, you know, being so loving towards me. Hey, Thomas, how are you? When I went through women, women menopause, it was painful, but well worth it. <laughs> oh, Patricia, rate your pain. And if over a four, then take something as once a five, it takes longer for the pain to go down. Oh, that's a very smart way to go. Thank you for that, Rose. I have learned that if I need pain meds, I take extra magne magnesium before it can before it can turn what's inside into concrete. Okay, that's a good tip. Hey, forgiven and blessed. Just got here. Sorry if it's been mentioned, but add gas X or similar to your basket. So I do have this. It's a gas and bloating prevention. It's like gas X. Um, a fun fact that I did not know about is I've heard from so many women that had hysterectomies that say get gas X because when they do the surgery, they fill your belly full of gas uh, so that they have room to see what's going on with their camera. Um, and then afterwards they said, you're going to have like, you might have gas pain in your stomach and even in your, up to your shoulder because there's so many gases and it get like, it affects your nerves somehow. Um, and so when I went to, to the surgeon to talk to her about my, and my pre-op, I said, you know, I was asking her all the things I needed to get. And I said, do I need to get some gas X? Because I've heard that you should have that. And she's like, well, she said, you can get gas X for other gas, but for this gas, it's not in your intestines, it's in your body. So gas X is not going to work for that type of gas. And I was like, oh, interesting. That is so crazy because everybody's recommending gas X for the pain after the surgery, but that the gas X is not going to work for that. The only thing that really works, she said, is just, you know, moving around, moving your body and, you know, just like walking. So I, I do still have it though, because I'm kind of gassy in general, not to, you know, be too um, TMI. Um, Hey, Julie, how are you? Carol Burnett are old, but very fat. Oh, I love Carol Bur Burnett. Yes. Um, Chloe, no raw veggies. They make you bloat. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Um, I don't think I have any raw veggies in there. Um, yeah, I'm going to be cooking. Um, like I said, I'll, after this live stream, uh, I'll be cooking a big batch of potato vegetable soups. So that's all cooked. I bought pita and hummus, uh, and then I bought stuff to make breakfast burritos. So just eggs and, um, diced potatoes and a little bit of cheese. So there's no veggies in that. Uh, salsa, you know. So yeah, I don't think I have, I did buy a couple apples and bananas, but I don't have any like carrots and stuff like that. And definitely no like broccoli and stuff like that because that's very bloaty. Uh, yes, Burger King has the, you know what Braveheart? You just solved, you just solved the day. You just solved my problem with that. I do love the Impossible Burger at Burger King. You just solved that. So I'm going to tell my parents have the live stream. That's where we'll drive through. Get me a Impossible Whopper and some fries. And I will eat that. I'll take some pain meds and I'll be good to go. So you just solved my problem. Thank you so much. This is another reason why I love the snack pack. Because you guys always come with so many good ideas. Good tips. Um, excellent. Excellent. I forgot about that. I haven't had one in so long. Um, let's see. Lance, keeping you in my prayers tonight. Don't worry, you're going to do great. Family movie is The Big Lebowski. Oh, awesome. I think I've seen that, but I should probably watch that again. But thank you so much for the prayers. I appreciate that very, very much. It's so um, calming to know so many people are praying, not only have already prayed, but just knowing that through the night people will be praying and tomorrow people will be praying. It just like gives me a sense of peace. Patricia, I was on morphine for over 20 years and other meds, so I have lots of experience and I'm... And I'm using chronic pain therapy and had a major back surgery. So only on 
Panadol Osteo now. You have got this awesome. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you definitely have the all the experience for that. DK, the added air pressure to your abdo abdomen is where a lot of pain comes from. Yes, exactly. Exactly. They do try to, she said they do try to, like, take out, I don't know how, take out some of the gas, like, when you, uh, before they are done. Um, but apparently it affects you. So I'll be, they said I'm going to, it sucks because I've lost weight and I'm feeling pretty nice. You know, I'm feeling kind of slimmer, but they're, I'm going to be bloated. But then after I recover, apparently over time, you know, then you feel better. And apparently, you know, you won't have as much bloating. Uh, DK, we run a negative internal pressure. Yes. Roberto, you got it. Prayers on the way. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Forgiven and blessed. Get a small pillow to rest your arm on your abdomen if needed. It helped me a lot. Okay, great. I do have, this is my Nana pillow. Um, this used to be my Nana's, uh, before she passed and I keep this in my van, uh, um, but this is my, this is like a comfort for me. So this is actually a good size. I do also have a few other like medium size pillows. So I will definitely keep that right next to the bed. So yes, yeah, snack pack community rocks. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Brenda, for the prayers and the speedy recovery. Thank you, Julie. Crystal says, yes, I love this community, how everyone is so kind and supportive. Thank you. I love it. Lost on land. What time is your surgery tomorrow? I will put you on a prayer list and we will pray when your surgery begins. So, <clears throat> excuse me, my surgery um, check-in time is 10 a.m. Um, I don't know exactly like what time I'll be lights out. I would imagine probably around 11, maybe noon. I don't know because they check you in and they do paperwork and you know, it's like put IV and stuff like that. So somewhere after 10 a.m. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Um, Julie says, you got this. Thank you so much. Hey, Mary, uh, you'll be in my prayers. Mary, I did get your message and I've been so busy. I will talk to you on the phone, um, but probably not this week. But I did get your message and I will reach out as soon as I can. Uh, so don't um, give up. Hit, reach out to me maybe next week. Um, Maybe not next week. Reach out to me in like two weeks and uh, I'll be happy to talk to you. Um, that's uh, Pacific time, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Okay, hold on. I'm getting two messages here. Okay, let, let's see. Oh my gosh, Mike Brady sent $50. Thank you so much, Mike. I appreciate it so much. You and Rhea, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this is so wonderful. I appreciate it very much. I'm going to give you a hallelujah. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it, truly, truly. Um, And I also have a message from, oh my gosh, <laughs> from Grant for a sitter for sugar crystal candy corn. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, she's going to love it. Oh, that's going to be great. Thank you so much, Grant. Uh, I appreciate you very, very much. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. Um, but let me give you a shout out. Oops. <laughs> Thank you very much, Grant. Uh, I forgot what that sound sounded like. Grant has his own sound because Grant's been around for so long. Grant's been like, was on my first ever live stream up until today. That was like a long time ago. Um, so he's been around for a long time. So he kind of has his own sound for donations. Um, so I appreciate you very much. Uh, him and his wife, Jackie have just been uh, such an encouragement to me through this channel, through the years. And uh, it's just, it's just been great. So thank you very much. Um, also, uh, Roseanne. Oh, thank you, Roseanne. Uh, good luck with your surgery and swift recovery. $50 on Venmo. Oh my gosh, Roseanne. Thank you so much. Is it Roseanne or Roseanne? I'm sorry if I'm messing up your name. Um, let me give you, uh, oh, no, I didn't do that one. Let's do this one. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. You guys are so loving and generous. I, I am so appreciative. Um, and Tammy, Tammy is just always so awesome and just the most generous person ever. And has just donated $25 as well. 
Thank you. You are a true blessing to me, Tammy. I appreciate you so, so much for supporting me and the channel in such a big way. Uh, I appreciate you. And let me give you a shout out. Let's give you, um, I'm going to give you a few compilation. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. I appreciate it so much. That was kind of epic. Um, that was on Cash App. Okay, let's see. Okay. Thank you guys so much for the donations. It is it's really a blessing to me so much. Thank you so so much. Um <clears throat> okay, I love all the prayers. Um hold on, I scrolled back for a second. Oops. Hey, Dago Red, uh, both my wife and my mother have had hysterectomy. I wish you all the best through your surgery and recovery. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, Darlene uh, says, correct. Uh, I'm not sure what that one's re reference to. Um, Johnny says, fill your belly with gas and these prices. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with unleaded. <laughs> Uh, Akruta, 2001, walking is the best. I had the surgery too. Moving is always the way to get rid of gas. Okay, perfect. That's what I've heard. I've heard that's the best way. Um, Mike says, I hope it's unleaded. High octane is good, like Starbucks sells. <laughs> uh, M Explorer, just had the surgery and a foam wedge pillow to prop you up was the best buy I made because you won't want to lay flat. Okay, awesome. So I have this wedge pillow that I'm actually resting on now. It's, it is actually a wedge pillow. Um, and I have a bunch of pillows cause I've heard that too. And it's funny because I told my surgeon, uh, that as well. And she said that some people are able to lay flat that night and some people need a booster pillow or like a, a wedge pillow. So I have all the pillows. So, um, thank you for that tip. Forgive and bless. It's very interesting about the gas. I'd still keep it close, close by just in case it helped me, but I had a leparotomy. Thank you for sharing that info. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I still keep it. I'll still keep it close by. Mike says Burper King. <laughs> Patricia, we do not have that burger here. We have Hungry Jacks now. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Brenna Lee's you will need a stool softener because the meds they give you after the surgery makes you get bad constipation. I know I had one done. Best of luck. Take care. Thank you so much. I have my stool softeners in my little, little bin next to me. Uh, so I'll probably start on that right after surgery. Uh, Akruta, is the surgery going to be laparoscopic or incision? Yes. Laparoscopic. So they make three little incisions. Uh, if they're in there and they need more room, they will do a bigger cut, but uh, she doesn't anticipate that. Um, funny fun fact i didn't know she said that i have a small uterus so i was like oh i didn't know so uh she said she has doesn't think it's going to be a problem um so i think it'll be okay hey bob uh thanks for being here no problem ed rosa start the, start the stool softener and magnesium now so it doesn't have a chance to cause problems so basically on from my surgeon and all the paperwork, they said to stop everything, even vitamins, supplements, everything like two weeks ago or a month ago. I forget. Um, don't, I, I haven't been taking anything, zero things. Um, the only thing I could take is Tylenol, um, which ironically of all the days I had the worst headache today. I woke up with the worst headache. So I tried to make it through the day. I ate a banana. I ate lunch. I still had a headache. Oh, a water alarm. So I did take a Tylenol today, but I can't take anything. They don't want me to take the stool softener ahead of time. Um, so as soon as the surgery is over, I can take the stool softener and any other medications or supplements. But I'll be right on it right after. Oh, thank you, Grant, for posting that. Yes, if you would like to be part of the Snack Squad on Patreon, Grant just posted the link. I usually post more things on there like not so much more things, but I post things there first, uh, you know, for being part of the Patreon. Um, David, little Dave RV, I will keep you in my prayers. Thank you so much, David. I appreciate that. Uh, I have to get going tonight when I am going to bed. I will say thank you so much, HG Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, 
uh, Mary says, I look forward to chatting with you and I'll put it on my calendar to print for you and the rest of the week. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for your patience as well. Uh, hey, Harry. Yes, that is your sound, Grant. <laughs> Lance says, Philippians 1, 6 is where I am confident of this very thing that he who began a good, good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. Amen. I love it. I love it. Love it. Grant. <laughs> I have a fluffy, fluffy pink blanket in my van. Uh, and so I always put that on the videos now because there's like a default, I don't know, it's a whole thing. It's a default setting. So I put that as like my reminder, but it just stays up on the description. Uh, Julie says, got to run prayers. Always, Allison, have a good night. Thank you for being here, Julie. And thank you for the prayers. Much appreciated. Uh, hey, Barbara, it's not laying flat. It's getting up from that position. That's difficult because you have to use your abs. Oh, you're so smart. So I do have this giant um, body pillow. It's, it's for, I got this when I hurt my back. And so I use it to lay on my side and prop my knee up and you can actually hug it. So it kind of, gives you a little bit of leverage. So I'm not laying hundred percent flat anyways at night, but I do get your point And that's very good to know. I did not know that. So that is very good to know. So I will try to keep myself propped up. Rose says, I sat in my recliner, still sleep in it sometimes, not always on purpose. Uh, awesome. I almost did buy a used recliner. Um, but then I'm like, I'm already spending so much money. Like I need to not. Uh, so, I'll just try to stay propped up on this bed. Does vitamin C help, help, help with fast healing? I don't know about that. It's a good question that I don't have the answer to, unfortunately. Hey, Deb G, how are you? I've been watching on the TV. Wish I could talk to TV to comment. Oh, prayers. Thank you so much, Deb G. Uh, thank you for being here. Camille. Hey, how Camille? Hey, Camille. I haven't seen you in a while. Thank you for being here. We love you, Allison. And we are praying for it. Thank you so much. Uh, girl, it sounds like you are pretty well prepared prayers for a safe procedure. Thank you so much. Then start it, uh, then start. Yes. with the first meal. Yeah. So maybe once I run through Burger King, I will have my, actually, I'm going to put these stool softener and pain med in a little Ziploc baggie and I'll bring it, um, with me. So my parents will have it in their car. So that's a good, good thing. Good tip. Um, Johnny's, you are blessed. Remember to always keep in contact with your mom and dad. I lost my mother and father two years ago. Oh, no, they are like grains of sand in your hands. Slipping. Oh, no. Yes. Thank you so much for the reminder because I know it, uh, I feel blessed to have them for sure, especially because they've had some health problems. So I do feel super grateful. DK, if you're getting a partial hysterectomy, I would write that on your pelvis. <gasps> Dang. That's actually probably a really good idea. Um, I'm getting a total hysterectomy, but I am leaving my ovaries and I've Definitely mentioned it a lot of times, reminding like I'm leaving my ovaries. I leave it. So I will mention it again multiple times to the anesthesiologist and to my surgeon, just so everybody in the room knows, leave my ovaries. And I've actually had ex an extensive conversation with my surgeon. Um, and she said that they do everything possible to keep the ovaries. And if they can't, they at least try to keep one. Like they do everything to keep at least one. Um, so yes, that's a good tip. Uh, ladybug, how are you? No, I am not in my van. I'm at my parents' house in, in the room I'm going to be recovering in tomorrow. Hey, Tracy. Hi, how are you? Uh, thank you for praying. Michelle says, Miralax may work better. Oh, yeah. I could not go for like five days and then I read about the beet juice. Okay, that's a good tip as well. I've used Miralax before and it does work. I think I actually have Docalax, Ducalax, um, in my parents' medicine cabinet. So that's another one just in case. I need some help with that. Hey, Smooshy228, best of luck tomorrow. Had mine in January 2020. Bladder spasms are common. Oh, no. The shoulder blade pain from the gas only lasts a few days. Okay, sitting up from laying down is a big task. <sighs> These are such good things to know. I did not know about bladder spasms. Grant says, I can believe I never noticed the fluffy pink blanket link. Must be an awesome blanket. <laughs> yes, it is a pretty awesome blanket. Um, forgive it and bless. When you get up from a laying position, roll on your side. Okay, wait. When you get up from a laying position, roll on your side and use your top arm placed in front of you and push yourself upright and hang your legs. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. You'll sit up sideways, but it doesn't use your abs. Okay, that's a great tip. That's a great tip. 
okay, before you start your surgery, the whole team does a timeout and they all state what the procedure is. So everyone's on the same page. Yes. Uh, yeah. She said that there's going to be like a lot of time for me to be introduced to the anesthesiologist. The nurses will have a conversation and make sure everything's in order. If I have any questions, one thing that I personally have to ask, she said, I do need to uh, state it is once I'm like there on the table, I do need to tell the anesthesiologist to, to give me uh, like preemptively, I guess, um, anti-nausea because I, when I've had surgeries in the past, I do tend to get nauseous afterwards and throw up. So I do need to add that. Um, and so I need to make sure to say that tomorrow. So I have a little list written down of things I need to like make sure of. So, um, I'll, you know, make sure to, to let them know. Um, love the beach bed. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you so much. This is a, uh, like a little backdrop that I got off the Amazons and it's, I think it was like less than 20 bucks and it's cool. I got another one. That's like an Italy scene. So when I get sick of this one, I can just switch it out. My mom's like, I'm going to steal that. I'm going to leave this in here when you leave. And I was like, you can, cause I won't be able to have it in my van. Um, Grant says, Hey, snack pack. Have you thrown a like on the life? Yes. Throw a like on it. If you haven't already. Uh, DK bladder spasms. I think I saw them open up for the monkeys in the sixties. That does sound like a band name. All right, let me read these last comments and then we're going to play a couple. Would you rather games just to like, you know, ease out the night here because you know, it's always good to end on a fun note because Grant sent me some really good, um, would you rather questions ask for anti-nausea patches that go behind your ear. They work for several. Yes. I've had those before, Barbara. Um, more than I'm a guy. So very sorry for the ignorance. I know ovaries are important. Can you expand on this for the half that doesn't have those things against our, that's okay. So, um, so when you have a total hysterectomy, you are getting your cervix, uterus and fallopian tubes taken out. Um, and then the ovaries there, the ovaries are what contains hormones. So if you take those out, then you immediately go into menopause. And so you will kind of maybe need hormone replacement medications or whatever. If you leave the ovaries in, you are just going to continue going like normal. So it's usually better to leave your ovaries if possible. Um, but everything else is coming out. And then, so it might be TMI, but basically what happens is they cut out all the cervix, uterus, and fallopian tubes. And then they're going to have to stitch the top of my vagina, the, the vaginal canal, like not the bottom part, but in like inside of you, they have to stitch it because it's just going to be open because the cervix is what, like, here's your vaginal canal. The cervix is, sits here. So when it's gone, there's just like an opening now. So they have to stitch your, your tissue together so that there's not just an opening up there. Because if you don't close that up, then your bladder or your bowel is going to just fall out into your vagina. And that's a bad idea. So that's basically the situation. So I know some of the guys are probably like, ew, <laughs> but that's just the woman's body. Um, <laughs> Grant, thank you. <laughs> um, Smooshy also use a sheet tied to the foot of the bed to leverage. Oh, that is so smart. Use a step stool if the bed is high because lifting your legs to get in bed is too hard. Yeah, this bed is not high. Um, so, but that sheet sh sheet tip is really good. Nelson, hey, hell, Nelson, how are you? Thank you, thank you, Brenda. I did this side thing when I had my gallbladder out. Really makes a difference. Also, when I hurt my back, it's, that's yes, that's a good tip. Uh, let's see, Kimmy's Abbas servant. I've never had a hysterectomy, but I'll tell you when, what my appendix, when my appendix were, and they did an operation on me and the gas pain was like nothing I ever felt before. And it went on for four weeks. Oh no. Oh my gosh. That sounds terrible. Uh, I hope that does not happen to me. Uh, Nelson says, how's everyone doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty good considering. Uh, Carrie says, I saw the installation on your last video. It looks like you are already. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Carrie says in the hospital, realize there are a hundred people beside your doctor who are working for you too. the whole hospital. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Johnny says, OG oh, delivered Domino's pizza to your room. So fun fact. So as a little treat, um, night, be night before surgery treat, 
Uh, we just got Papa John's pizza, my mom and dad and I. Um, we just ran up there and got it a few minutes ago. Um, but I had like one like tiniest little sliver of pizza before the live stream. But I'm so looking forward to after this live stream, I'm going to go mac down on some pizza because I won't be able to eat after midnight or most of the day tomorrow. So that's my little treat that I'll have tonight after the live stream. So I'm already going to be having pizza tonight. Uh, Swooshy, I kept my ovaries and they burned my tubes. They took cervix and uterus out through the vagina. I had no pain from that area at all. So yes, that's what they're going to be doing for me as well. Um, more done. Okay. Thank you. Well, that's some, yes, it's definitely major. Um, Amy. Hey, Amy. I hope surgery and recovery. Good. Thank you so much. Uh, Nelson, my day's going pretty good. Very busy, but very good. All right. So let's do a few, let's just do a couple. Um, oops, hold on. I got another message from Lola, $30 from PayPal. Thank you so much, Lola. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Let's give you I'm going to give you a yodel. Thank you very much, Lola. I appreciate it so much. That means a lot to me. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. It's very, very generous of you guys. Um, very sweet. All right, let me pull up Grant's email and look at some of these questions. All right, so um, let's see. Before we get some, yes, now Grant wants pizza. Sandy. Hey, Sandy. I'll be, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. So we're just going to do a couple of these questions because I still have a couple videos to edit and I still got to make my soup and I still got to take a shower and I still got a bunch of things to do. Um, and also I'm going to be FaceTiming with both of my sons tonight and it's a lot of things. So um, we'll just do a couple. Hey, redheaded riding hood. Uh, Cindy, thank you. Thank you for the pro positive vibes and prayers. Thank you. Hey, Lori. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the prayers. And I still got to eat pizza. Grant's right. I still got to eat pizza. All right. So um, we're going to play Would You Rather. And for those that don't know, Would You Rather is just a game where there's two choices and you'll just put in the chat, what would you rather? So the first question is, would you rather be 80 years old or five years old for your entire life? Would you rather be 80 or five your entire life? How would that even work? So how would you know when you're at the end of your life? So you'd still have like, let's just keep it simple, a hundred years on this earth, but just, you'd be five years old for a hundred years. Or if you're 80, you'd be 80 for a hundred years. Basically. I guess so. Um, so which one would you rather? I got to think about that one. Uh, Patricia, on a brighter note, I just received your sticker in the mail. So excited. Oh, awesome. So excited to focus on my van. Goal. Love it. Love it. I'm so glad you got it. Woohoo. All right. We're coming through with some of these answers already. Amy and Tammy and Smooshy all said they want to be five. Smooshy says five and not care, not a care in the world. Sandy says 80 and good health. Um, Rose says 80. Five was rough. <laughs> Kimmy says 80. Lori says five and having fun. Let's see. Michelle says five. Carrie says 80. I like learning. Grant says, I, if I'm healthy like my dad, I'd choose 80. You don't exactly have much of an intellect at five. I mean, that's a good point. Camping buddy, you'll do great. Seriously, you're strong and you have a wonderful sport. Thank you so much. I appreciate it very much. Um, five says redheaded riding hood. Mike says 80. I was abused as a child and have said it's good to be 59 and not have to worry about that. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's a really good reason. Uh, Brenda says 80. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just checking these messages. Um, Crystal says 80 and good health. I lost the, there it is. Diane, uh, would everyone around you age normally? I think so. I think everyone would be normal, like normal age. Thomas says, okay, because God has your back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And definitely. Forgiven of us five if it were like it was back when I was five. I mean, that's a good point as well. 
73 in good health, says Charlotte. Diane says, just got here praying for your surgery. Thank you so much, Diane. I appreciate it. Patricia says 80. All right, we're going to give like 30 seconds more for all the answers. Johnny says, I had a birthday earlier this month. I had to call my friend and ask, how old am I now? You are 46 going on 10, Johnny B. <laughs> Hey, Sita, how are you? Thank you so much, Sita. Sita is one of my new friends that I met when I was in San Diego, and we recently did a van tour of her van, Sage, and that's that video is going to be going up soon. So I'm very excited to, to share her van with you and to share her. She has a YouTube channel that she's just starting as well. Um, Mike Brady, baby Chris says five months. You'll only get that reference if you were on the last live stream because there was a whole email with somebody named baby Chris trying to ask me to marry him. Uh, Thomas says 57 feel, feel like 27. Awesome. Yes, I do feel still young for my age. All right. So I would say as tempting as it is to be five years old again and have somebody take care of me for the rest of my life, because right now I feel tired, but I think it's, like to be 80 and have all that knowledge and to like have the experiences that you've had, you, you would have such a full life. Like you would, you would have a lot more and you could have re like full on relationships, even in your eighties. Yes. You can still do it. You can still do things if you're in good health. So I'm going to go with 80. That's my answer. All right. Um, let's see. Let me read some of these. This is a funny one. Let's just do one more. We'll do one more. Um, yes. Uh, follow Keys Tracks. Hey there, Best Witch. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Crystal says, yes, exactly. Okay. So this next one is, would you rather end every conversation? So every time you get off the phone or every time you're talking to somebody, even in person, even in a work meeting uh, with everybody, you'd have to end every conversation with either I love you or begin every conversation with, Hey mom, no matter who it is. So end it with, I love you or begin every conversation with, Hey mom, which one would you rather? And this is going to be our last one, but I'm going to keep these questions for a future live stream. And as you guys are answering really quickly, I'd like to tell you that Number one, I appreciate you guys so, so very much. Like honestly and truly, I appreciate all the love, support, donations, encouragement, all the prayers, especially all the scriptures and just everything. I appreciate it so much. Um, tomorrow is my surgery. I'll be recovering and I won't be doing any live streams for the next two weeks. Now, if anything changes and I'm just like, woo, you know, feeling great, maybe I will, but I don't want to put any promises out there. So I'm just going to say for the next two weeks, I won't be doing any live streams. Videos will still be going up uh, because I've, you know, kind of pre-scheduled a few um, next week. Maybe not next week might be a week that there's one video. I don't know. We'll see how it goes um, because I'd like to just take some time off, but no live streams for the next two weeks, but I'll be keeping you guys posted on the community tab. And like I said, I'll try to post a video there's like a short video just as an update to keep you guys posted. So I just wanted to tell you that before uh, we, you know, wrap it up. Um, okay. So let's see. I know Grant, I miss fake freedom too. Um, when we did these live streams a long time ago, there was a person on here named fake freedom and I don't want to share the whole information, but she's no longer here. And, um, yeah, it is sad. I miss a lot of people that used to come on the live streams, but you know, it's an ebb and flow and it's, uh, you know, some people come to travel snacks and then they leave and then some new people come. So it's, you know, to me, I think it's just great. We have a great family community here. Um, okay. So redhead or redwood. Yes. I think I'll change my answer to 80. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Hey, Bill, how are you? Um, thank you so much, Bill. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So, um, so the question was, would you rather end every conversation with I love you or begin every conversation with Hey Mom? So there's a lot of I love yous, which I actually love seeing that. I love you. I love you. Love you. Kimmy, Crystal, Diane, uh, Amy, Rose, Brenda, um, forgiven and blessed. All And Mike Brady all says, I love you. Daniel's uh, so throwing a twist. 
Hey mom, because nowadays someone would say sexual harassment if you said I love you. Oh, that's a good point. Um, Carrie and Lori says I love you, and Carrie says I love you wildly. I love it. You just go all in. You might as well. Grant says I love you. My boss always appreciates. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Uh, Red Hat writer, I love you, but I would like to talk to my mom again. So, oh, she passed in two thousand nine. I'm sorry to hear that. Carrie says, the world needs more love. Agreed. Thomas says, I'm reclusive, so I don't talk on the phone. Uh, Sandy says, end with, I love you. I accidentally did that when I ordered pizza one time. The guy just laughed. I've done that before, honestly. I've done it. I think people appreciate it. I don't think they care. Wardan says, I love you because not everybody is, hey, mom. Yes. Roseanne, start with, hey, mom, because I miss her so much. Oh, Johnny, you will be fine. You have heaven looking down upon you. Thank you so much. Who doesn't love the pizza guy? I mean, that's actually true. Michelle says, I love you. Love is amazing and very universal. It's so true. Hey, Judy, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, Diane says, I love you is always the best. B Johnny B says, I choose either. Oh, Camille says, I love you. Yes, you know, you guys should know me. I will definitely, I will say I love you to anybody. Whether I start the conversation with it or end the conversation, I would always choose I love you no matter what. In fact, my new channel that I'm starting is called Allison loves that may change in the future, but for now the channel is called Allison loves because I love love. I love hearts. I love just that feeling of spreading that goodness all around. Um, so I choose that one. I choose love. I choose to say, I love you. Oh, Bill. Thank you. Um, so I appreciate you guys so much. And I love all of you very, very much. Um, and I'm feeling very uplifted and encouraged leaving the live stream today and preparing uh, for my surgery tomorrow. Um, thank you, Camille. Thank you. Um, so you guys are the best. Uh, I'll do my best to keep you updated as soon as possible. And yes, yes. Awesome. Um, Grant says, I had one of our vendors when I was talking to her at work, tell me she loved me as I said, goodbye. I was like, <laughs> Oh, Crystal says, yes. And you never know who needs to hear those words. I love you. Yes. That's so true. It's so true. We all need a little encouragement. Um, all right. So thank you guys so much for being here. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to go eat my pizza, probably start on my, after I eat them, but probably start on my vegetable potato soup. And then I got to finish editing a couple videos and then I'll wrap it up for the evening. Um, so I hope you guys have a great evening, a great week, uh, since I won't be talking to you and, um, just stay blessed. And I will talk to you guys as soon as possible. Bye for now. Bye. Let me just read some of these comments. Oh, let's see. The world needs love. Yes. Thank you, Michigan Adventures. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Grant. Thank you guys for all the prayers. Crystal, Johnny, Bill, Camille, Redhead Riding Hood, Mike Brady, Carrie. Thank you guys so much for all the hearts and all the love and the prayers. Thank you, Brenda. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Diane. You guys are so, so sweet. Thank you guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.